all right uh, in order to create your blog the first thing you need to do is to, to open your browser on your desktop or on your phone then type in blogger.com in your browser press your enter key the moment you do that it's going to present you with an environment an environment that look like this now from here you click on create your blog so the moment you click that it will expect you to log in into your gmail account now if you don't have your gmail account listed there you might need to use another account or it will take you to a sign in just make sure you sign into your gmail account and if you have any gmail account you have to create one so that it will allow you to use blogger uh, blogspot.com so i'll click on my own right now the moment i click there it will ask me to supply my password then i'll click on next so the moment i click next it takes me into the blogger blogger.com environment now it will present you with create new blog uh, form so you are expected to enter your blog title so what title or blog are you using based on your niche now the blog i want to create is based on football news so i target top site top site football news football news now what name what address what will i want people to type in for them to access this same uh football news uh, blog so i want them to type top football now the moment i type top football now and you move outside of it there will be a check they will check if that particular name is available it's been taken already that means someone else is using this name so that means we can't use it that's against the blogspot.com so i can actually change this to another else it won't move on the create blog button will not be active unless you choose the right uh the right name so i will go for another one let me just say top 247 if i'm using that let's see if that is available that's not available too so i will just add news to it top 247 news is that available is not available too so let's say tough 247 ball okay this is available so that means i can make use of this so i'll just move on to choose a template so this theme will determine the overall look of your blog how it's going to look like so i'll just choose one of these remember you can still change your template as time goes on so i'll go for this one picture window so click on create new blog you want to click on create new blog you have a blog to yourself even though you don't have a content for now there is already a blog available for you so how do i check my blog if it's actually there or not so in this environment you just come to the top left now you see something they call view blog there so you don't click it because you click it's going to close down your control panel so i'll just right click on it and say open a new tab so opening a new tab will open that a new tab for you then you'll be able to have access to what you are doing there so this is the second one i'll just click on it now this is my blog can you see the title top site football news now your post because i've not created any post that's why this is blank like this so from the above now that is your address your blog address this is what you will give to people to actually visit your blog so they can visit it on their phone or and on their tab any medium that they uh dim fit but now do we now post you know our first uh, blog post so you have to go back to your control panel then your control panel environment at the left side you will see some menu option there we have the post the statistics the comments and your earnings if you monetize your blog the pages if you decide to add more pages to your blog and the layout the team you can change your teams from here but if i want to add a post now is as simple as clicking on post so after i click on post it takes me to the post environment now because i don't have any post right now that's why it's not showing anything so i have to click on new posts so clicking on new post take me to the new post environment so asking me for information so what are the information is asking for the post title then the post content this is where you put in the content of your post this is where you put in the title of your post and these options are there for you to format your post to uh, look much more presentable by now you must have had your post kept somewhere 
I have my own uh, about a sports news. Now let me get my post. So I'll simply open where the post is. Now uh, this is a football news. So I'll basically copy the title by lighting our copy. Then post in the title there in the post area. Then this is the content. So I'll basically go back there and copy the content. So just highlight, copy, then come in here and paste it there. Now the content will be pasted. You can actually format it to look much more presentable. I can press an enter key here to create some space out, you know, so that in your output it looks much more presentable. So you can space out the content in that manner. So if I'm okay with the spacing out, all I have to do is to basically click on publish. But before you publish, you might want to add a picture to your post. Probably at the top of my post, I can press my enter key, then click above it and add a picture that goes with your content. So how do I get that? By clicking there, you basically click on that insert image option. So when I click on insert image option, it's going to pop up asking you to choose the file which image you can go on your google search for image that relates to what you are doing or if you have a picture already snapped you can always go and pick it from your system but now i have some picture on my system that i've already uh, copied for this purpose i'll just click on choose file then select the file is on my desktop i tagged it a uh, blog so i'll basically open the blog and I'll select the image that goes with my title. I'll click on open. So that image will be uploaded. So you wait for it. So after which you can then add add it to your blog. So depending on the size of your image, that will determine how long it will take to load into your browser. So you have to make sure your images are optimized to load your blog much more faster. So just click on add. So that image will be added into your blog. So with this image I have here, I can make it original size so that it comes so big. Or better still, I can say large. So you can choose what size you want for this image. I may say medium. So whichever option that goes with what you want. So I can make use of large, extra large. So I think extra large is okay by me so that it fill the whole screen that way. So with this I have here now, I can click on publish publish in the sense that i want to publish my blog so the moment you click on publish then your blog will now be viewable from the if i come here to come to my blog like i opened earlier the tab is still there and i refresh you see the blog you have just posted is in there but you notice something the image we use is going outside of the area so what do we do in that case i may have to go back to my blog edit it by basically clicking moving your mouse across it and you click edit then with that edit you can click on the image and then apply large instead of extra large so that it doesn't go outside of the viewable area so i'll just click on update after update go back there and preview what you have there then that is basically it so this is your first post in your blog so i can go back to my i can scroll down to actually view and here you see archives of what you have posted so far so let me add one other one more blog uh, post so i'll go back there if i want to add a new blog post i'll just click on new posts now having my new posts, I need a title, basically coming to my content area, I'll select the title, switch back to my blog, pasting the title there, then coming down here, you go back for your content and copy the content. Remember, you must have typed your content to use, either you type it yourself or you contract it out to, to a writer. To a content writer so i'll basically i'll space it out to look more presentable when it gets into my browser so you need to 
arrange your documents as in your content very well then i need the image i want the image here right above here too so i'll basically place my cursor there click on this that i have it there so i'll just click on choose a file and this is the image so i'll click on open remember the size of your image that means how long it will load so after getting this you just click on select the image and add selected so the image will be added so i want to make it large so that it comes uh, a bit bigger so with this option i have now i have to post already so i'll just publish so after each post you publish it by the time you come here you click on refresh so you notice there are two posts now this is the first one and this is the second one so you can keep adding to your posts and it will keep you know adding them in that order you see there are two posts here now so i can actually view which post i want to check from by clicking there and i can click here to to click there then if you want to give anybody your address all you have to do is to give to them the address that you type in at the initial stage of creating your blog and in my own case it's top 247ball.blogspot.com so the moment they enter it into their browser i'm sure it will lead them to your page you can even try it on your phone see if you can have access to that same blog i'm sure you should be able to by simply entering the blog address as you see up there 